Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner. Welcome to Selling Power TV. Today, we have the great pleasure of meeting with Justin Sabula. He's a managing partner of Janik Performance Group. Justin, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Gerhard. We are still in that um, COVID bubble and where everything has shifted to virtual sales. What are the requirements for salespeople to be as proficient virtually as there are in their former jobs, in the former environment? The world of sales is always evolving, um, but this was a big one, you know, that, that salespeople had to get ready for. So, you know, I think one, one of the biggest differences or one of the things they have to be ready for is we all know it's an advantage to be able to be face to face with a customer in sales. It's easier to connect, you know, versus writing emails or over the phone. And in this virtual environment, certainly we lost that, but there were some tools that enable us to still do that. So to be a great virtual seller, one of the things that you have to have down is some technical skills. You know, you have to be technologically adept and proficient with these tools to be able to use the tool, use some of the features in the tool to troubleshoot, you know, if you have issues. I, I kind of think like if you were going into a sales presentation, you know, some of the things that you do, you get there early, you go check out the room, right? You set up your projector and make sure that your presentation's on the projector, you got your materials out. Well, all of those things still need to happen in order to have a smooth sales presentation or a sales call, but they're just different. So there's a skills part, but also there's a mindset part. Um, how is that shifting? We talked to a lot about salespeople about understanding that mindset and kind of teaching this as your virtual stage or treating it, excuse me, as your virtual stage. So to be on stage, to be ready, to engage your audience in this virtual way, things like eye contact and other kind of virtual engaging skills, you know, to be able to do so. So you, you're right. You have to have your mindset wrapped around this and be ready to deliver these great sales calls or sales presentations, but to do so in a, in a different environment. So what are some of the guidelines for showing up well um, online in a uh, soon face-to-face call? So I think of a few, you know, one, I think about your virtual stage, you know, your background, be aware of what's, you know, behind you and make sure that you're showing up the way that you'd like to show up. This is part of your personal brand or your professional brand. The other thing is you have equipment now too. You know, you want to have a good webcam to make sure that you're nice and clear. Uh, you got to pay attention to lighting, you know, backlighting will kind of fade you out a bit, making sure you have a nice quiet space. So what do you think of uh, virtual backgrounds where you change the background as you speak and, uh, uh, you know, depending on the mood? I don't have an issue at all with virtual backgrounds. Um, obviously, it needs to be consistent with your brand, right? So what it says about you and your, your organization. Um, we do notice that, you know, sometimes some of the virtual backgrounds won't show up well based on what you're wearing yeah. <laughs> or based on the color that's behind you. Yeah. So we even have some of our clients will actually set up a green screen, you know, behind because that's yes. the, the, the one that will actually, you know, work the best with these, some of these kind of virtual backgrounds. Get on, test them try them, <laughs> make sure that uh, you, you check it out yeah, before. Don't just um, jump on and, and give it give it a go the first time with the customer. What are the things that salespeople should not do, like uh, wearing a baseball cap or something? There's a few things that we've been noticing with salespeople that we give them you know, training on to help them. And one of them we've noticed a lot is just eye contact. You know, Making sure salespeople understand that when you're talking, or when your customer's talking, they're looking at you, right? Your video. So you, in order to really connect with them, you have to have good eye contact, which means you can't necessarily be looking at your screen, you know, or screen. Right. You kind of, you have to be looking at the general direction of the camera. So right. I'm watching these sales presentations or in sales calls and reps are, they're going through their um, decks that they're pulling up and they're reading their notes. But what they don't realize is the customer's looking at you or them yeah. and they're off they're they're looking over here you know and then now the customer starts talking and they're they're looking over here and it's so there's some adjustments that you have to make right in this virtual environment uh, that you may not be aware of that are really important
are there any other tips that we, you would like to add, uh, special things that uh, you do that sets you apart? I think the virtual platforms give us a great opportunity to collaborate. And now you can share information easier. You know, you can just share your screen, you can pull it up, but you also have these platforms that have features in them. You can highlight, you can draw on it, you can circle, you can, you know, type up notes. So I've just found uh, that you can engage your audience, right, in a different way and even collaborate in a different way. And we, we highly recommend this um, to be able to do that because, again, you, you want to engage. You want to be more interesting. You want to find ways to do that. And that can be a great way to do it. So we, we help sellers understand that and also make sure that they practice so they can do this fluently and fluidly, excuse me, as they you know, go from document to document and they circle and they you know, pull up different assets during the call. But that, that can be a great supplement to a sales presentation or a sales call. And you have, you're on a computer, so you have everything right here. You, know, you have access to everything. Awesome. Well, for anybody who would like to learn more on how to become a virtual seller, visit janek.com, J-A-N-E-K.com. Thank you, Justin. Yeah, thank you, Gerhard. <laughs>